What happens if you die while we're RVing? <laughs> Honestly, I don't think it changes much for you. What happens if I die? A lot changes for me. So that's what we're talking about today. What happens if one of us dies while we're out on this full-time RV sure. adventure? Yeah, what do we yeah. do? I haven't really thought too much about it. No, I mean, it's kind of morbid to talk about possible it death is. scenarios, but... We're gonna talk about it anyway. <laughs> Recently, we had a death in the family, mm -hmm. and you probably saw that we had to hustle from Michigan down to Florida. Yeah. Everything kind of came to a halt when we got here. We were waiting yeah. to see if our family member was gonna survive a surgery. They did. Mm -hmm. Let's survive for eight more weeks. But during that time frame, we were uh, staying with family members and we've had to totally rearrange our YouTube content around it because yeah. we haven't been traveling. So we've been doing more RV stuff or RV um, how -tos, products and how to's, and, uh, how not to's. How not to's in our case. The worst part of the whole situation was the family member who, who has now passed away. The second worst part was our sleeping arrangements. Yeah. <laughs> Because we were staying with family, and they didn't have like a proper bed, so Leslie was sleeping on a futon. I'm sleeping on a twin mattress, twin mattress on the floor, and it's just not comfortable. We're, we are blessed to live this lifestyle and to be and able be to there. do that. Yeah. However, not an ideal situation for sleeping. We really missed our bed. Oh my God, am I missing my bed? <laughs> the reason we miss our bed so much is because our mattress is awesome. And so thank you to RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for yes. sponsoring today's video. We're going to tell you how you can get a mattress and we save you 20%. All you got to do is go to the website in the link below. Use promo code WAGS to get 20% off your next mattress purchase over awesome there. Deal. 120 night sleep trial. Yeah. So if you don't like it, send it back. We've even had people comment on our videos that we've done before mm -hmm. about mattresses. They've sent them back. No questions asked. They sent them the, the, the new one that they liked. They got to try that one out. The yeah. sleep trial starts all over again in 120 yep. days. 10 year warranty, which is awesome. Yeah. These things are going to last forever. They'll ship it to you for free, which is crazy because it's so it's heavy. heavy. They ship yeah. it to you for free. It's made here in the US. And yeah. they have all kinds of different models, sizes, firmness, comfort level, yeah. Whatever you like. Customize. So look in the link, pop over there, check out uh, RV Mattress by Broken Bedding. All right, let's get back to the topic. And the topic is what happens if one of us dies okay. because this whole situation has us thinking about what happens if one of us dies yes. are we prepared i think the answer is no I, i'm pretty confident <laughs> it's no um, yeah because there's a lot of things that we thought about and probably some things we haven't thought about so if there's something that we don't mention here please leave us a comment yeah we want to make sure that we're prepared yeah i mean like you it's hard because you don't want to think that way, but you kind of have to think that way. Yeah, because I was thinking like, okay, so what happens if, let's say for for example, I die. Like, there's certain places and people that you would have to contact. You have to contact insurance companies. You have to contact the VA. Yes. The military yeah. to report my deaths because the pay changes, my retirement, Drastically. my VA stuff, all that stuff changes. Yes. If you are in a position where you are on social security you'd probably have we're not in that position yet but if you are you'd have to contact social security um you'd have to, to arrange final expenses and arranging final expenses on the road could be difficult could be especially you know if you are in an area that you are not familiar with yeah so and you gotta, you gotta figure out whether you're gonna get buried or cremated or what and it's all this going on at the same time would be a pretty so stressful situation. Yeah. It's stressful right now, and we're and we're going through it with family who have a home. Yeah. They're not traveling. They're fixed, and it's difficult enough like that. Exactly. So on the road would be even more difficult. So we started thinking about other things. Banking. Like, we do all of our banking online, but you don't really do our banking. Not anymore. I do our banking. When we were in the house, I did. One of our preparations for for catastrophes like that is that we did a spreadsheet yes. of our username and passwords for that's, everything. That's smart. She has access to that and I have access to that. So yeah, you wouldn't probably be able to get to it through my phone because I have the pins, the different pins and stuff in there. But if you yeah. went on the actual website, you would be able to log in and yes. figure all that out. It would be a little bit more cumbersome, 
Well, you still have to worry about. But other logins and passwords, not just for banking, but for everything else. All the accounts to get into. I have I have a retirement plan that I still have money in. Yeah. Um, we have a social media accounts. Yes. You yes. have to get into like my phone. Can you get unlock your spouse's phone, phone to get in contact with family members? Correct. Family members on their side that you might not have phone numbers to. So that's all stuff to think about too. Yes. You got to think about what would happen with the truck and the RV. And we've already kind of established that if you died, nothing really much would change for me. No. Because not financially. Financially, no, because all the income is coming in through my military retirement and through my VA stuff. Yeah. But if I died, it would drastically change for you. Yeah. Because not only the income stuff, but you'd probably have a little bit more difficult time moving the RV around if you need to. Yes. So I'm curious. Oh boy. What would you do if I fell over dead right now? Not immediately, but like with the truck and the RV, where would you move to? What would you do? You even have an idea? No, not <laughs> not really. Like I would have to probably have somebody move, move it. it for me. Yeah. Just because I've never done that before, and I don't need that trying time to be the first time yeah. I do it. But you'd still live in the RV somewhere, probably. I think I would. Just I park think it somewhere. I would just go ahead and find a place that I could be, be a, a permanent park dweller. Yeah, I'll be one of them. And uh, are you gonna get lots of cats and plants? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I think that's what I would do for the immediate future. Yeah. And probably, well, I'm just assuming, but probably somewhere in the south. So you're not in the cold? Yeah. I mean, even though you'd have to endure hot summers. Yeah. Like, I don't know that it would be like we are now, Florida. I don't, not yeah. that south. Yeah. It would be somewhere where I can get, it's warm summers, but... I'll get cooler winters. I don't want cold. I like cool, but not cold. And then the other thing is because our situation is unique. We are creators on YouTube. Yeah. So if one of us dies, does the channel die with us? If you die, it does. <laughs> <laughs> God knows I'm not going to carry the channel. So y'all need to be rooting for me to live. <laughs> Root for me to live uh, because if I die, you heard her. The channel it. dies with Cancel me. Cancel it. Done. <laughs> You're not going to do it? No. Come, Come on. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> you know I can. I'll teach you how to edit. That's on my to-do list now. Oh, I'll teach please. you how to edit. so that I'm you not going to sit in front of this camera by this. myself. You've lost your mind. Hi, I'm Leslie. This is the <laughs> Wayward Wag. So this week, we're going to talk about uh, not moving the RV. <laughs> But seriously, we know yeah. I would not be able to do that. It's not in me. Yeah. It would it would dissipate, go away. So it's all stuff that you gotta think about. And I don't know either where I would live or whether I would continue traveling or I would settle down somewhere. I think you would still travel. Uh, maybe. I don't think you're ready to stop traveling. Now, me and Scout, man, we're uh <laughs> we're wayward. <laughs> we're unpredictable and shifty. Yeah, yeah you are. <laughs> <laughs> I see you still doing the channel, still moving around, till you physically can't do that process anymore. I love the process of, of YouTube, so I don't think that I would want to stop. Um, yeah. I may, it might take a break. Yeah. Try to figure out what direction the channel is going to go in. Revamp the channel. On my own, but I, I, I love being in front of the camera. I love the editing process. I love the connection with the community. So I would, I would definitely keep so it going. So we're pretty much establishing nothing changes for you <laughs> not there's much. no stress there for you if I <laughs> not much i'm the one carrying all the stress yeah and you don't really cook anyway so no I exactly you're eating not, situations you not know how to work the air fryer just as well as i do so, so that doesn't change so we have established that if you die first it's I'm like okay. i never left <laughs> and if, if i die first you're totally I'm screwed, so screwed. <laughs> you better keep me alive i know <laughs> Take your vitamins. I keep telling you, take your vitamins. <laughs> so there is a lot to think about and we wanted to do this video so that you would be thinking mm -hmm. about it as well because there's just so much and you don't want to pass away and leave a burden on your spouse. To be, to, if they can't get into your accounts, they can't get into your access to your stuff, they don't know what to do, you don't yeah, have a plan. Yeah, it's definitely something that should be shared. 
Definitely. You should not keep that secret how to access that stuff because anything could happen at any time. And a lot time. of people haven't even discussed final arrangements with their spouse. Like, what do you want to happen final if you pass away? Final yeah. wishes. And we've talked about all that stuff. So Years ago. That, but I, yeah. nothing's really changed. I no. mean, our, what we want is pretty much the same. Yeah. So anyway, leave us a comment. Let us know if we forgot anything or if you have experienced this or if you know someone who's experienced yeah. this and who have, have gone you, through some issues. You have your own personal checklist of how yeah. how it's to play I think out. that would be useful for people. Yeah. And so hopefully this video helped you think about it and helped, helped you out a little bit too. And, and didn't bum you out too much. <laughs> because you can't wait until you're old because you don't know. No. I don't know. Anything could happen at any moment. You can't die. Okay. That's, the moral of this story is he can't die. <laughs> Because I'm screwed. <laughs> All right. That's not talking about dying. Okay. <laughs> Let's put a pin in it. <laughs> stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen service member. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans out on the road, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. We appreciate you watching. Sorry if we bummed you out I talking know. about death. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.